Today I'm going to talk about supplements and nutrition. I have a little bit of time in between classes, about an hour or two. Uh, first off, when I was at home, we have a Sam's Club and a Costco's, two very similar stores. If you guys don't know what Sam's Club is or if you don't know what Costco is. And um, Sophie, she bought, she went to Costco's and got a, what, what is this, a six pound bag of uh, Optimum Nutrition Whey for 60 bucks, which is a really, really good deal for so that big old thing. And um, she also picked up some C4, uh, Fruit Punch flavor, 30 servings each, I believe, yep, for $40. And these sell for one each for about 30 bucks online or like from GNC or something for the, so that's a really good deal. And then I went to Sam's Club and picked up a five pound tub of Iron Way. Never had it. Had it last night for the first time. It's chocolate flavor and it actually tastes really good. Uh, it's comparable to the Optimum Nutrition, I would say, flavor wise and the mixability and stuff. All right, so you guys probably don't want to watch me for like 10 minutes straight. So I'm gonna make this clip, a little small clip in the corner. And then uh, I'm gonna put up uh, a workout video for you guys to watch. You guys just listen to me while you guys are watching the workout video. Enjoy. So supplements that I use, I don't use very many. I use um, protein, I use like whey, as you saw there, and then I use creatine. And then um, I'll sometimes, uh, when I have it, I'll take multivitamins and fish oil daily. Uh, so I, have to, I have some now, so that's what I'm taking now. Uh, multivitamin, fish oil, and then protein whey with creatine. Some people are kind of iffy about creatine. I'll kind of briefly go through like, I guess the effects of creatine. Basically, if you're on creatine, uh, let's say you can do like eight reps of like 225 on the bench. And then um, you start taking creatine and like weeks into it, it's not just like you take it and you feel it right away. It's uh, you have to saturate it into your, into your muscles. So it'll take a couple weeks, maybe a month start actually noticing the like effects so like I said you're doing a flat bench eight pounds 220 or eight reps for 225 and once you're on creatine about a month in you might be able to do 225 like 10 reps maybe even 12 reps the reason being is because you have more energy not necessarily getting stronger but you have more energy push more volume and that's how that's how I see creatine being so that's kind of a, a little lesson on creatine I guess you can look it up online, there's been like so many studies on it. Anyways, um, and then now going into nutrition, like food wise. So uh, this video might be kind of long. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to be. We're about four minutes in already, four and a half minutes. Uh, but anyways, you have your, you have your clean eating side over here. Like, you know, clean eaters only, like only clean foods, chicken, broccoli, chicken, broccoli. And then you have your it's fish and mackerel side over here, two sides. Neither one's right or wrong. I mean, everyone has their own opinions, everyone has their own preferences. And where I stand between those two, I stand right in the middle of those two. And I say that because I don't like to call my diet, you know, clean eating diet or a, if it, if it fits your macros diet. I like to call it a macro tracking based diet where I track my macros, but I'm not um, where I'm, I'm not only just going to eat, you know, chicken, broccoli, chicken, broccoli every single meal, every single day. And I'm not going to eat Pop-Tarts, pizza every single day, every single meal. What I like to do is, or you can call it flexible dieting also. It's, you're, um, what I like to do is to track the macros. So, you know, your carbs, your fats, your protein. But I'm not going to eat junk food all the time. As to, because, like, if you fish macros, like, pro people that are all about that, it's kind of like they make it sound like a pro junk food diet, which it, I don't agree with. And then you have your uh, clean eaters only over here, you know, skinless chicken breast all the time, which is like, it should be a main staple, but you shouldn't restrict yourself to only those types of foods. It's not healthy for you, like uh, mentally, it's not, you know, develop a bad relationship with foods if you only do that. So what I like to do is, Oh, my, the main staples I, I eat like for carbs would be like rice and um, potatoes sometimes. I'm not a huge fan of potatoes, it's mostly rice. Uh, I, I do white rice, uh, 
Well, I know a lot of people do brown rice. I don't think it tastes good. And it's not really that big of a difference. I looked into like a, like a study and um, it was there's not that much of a benefit brown uh, brown rice versus white rice. I'm in a bulk anyways. So if it's like calorie, like if there's a caloric difference, then it's not a big deal to me. I need those calories. And um, so my main staple for carbs would be like rice. And then I'll still eat chicken. Uh, I'll, I'll do chicken, cut them up, uh, cook them. And I'm um, not really a huge fan of like veggies. My mom like kind of ha not hates me, but she always, every time I come home, she's like, eat your veggies, eat your veggies. I have multivitamins. And, um, but then I don't just restrict myself to those type of foods. Like if I want to have a pop tart, I'm going to eat a pop tart and I'm going to calculate it into my macros. And then this is, this is where you get to the if efficient macro side. If I still have carbs left, like, uh, or if I still have carbs remaining, I'm able to eat pop tarts. I'm able to eat a pizza or a burger if I want to. But uh, I combine the, like the two. I'm eating like good, clean foods as well as you know foods that can fit in my macros. So I'm in between both, and um, that's kind of my take on it. At the end of the day, when I calculate all my macros. If I'm still like lagging in some some areas, if I'm lagging in protein or carbs or even fats, I'll get some food like uh, like a snack or something to fill those in. Like if I need more fats, maybe I'll eat something that's a little bit more fatty, or maybe some peanut butter, you know. Or um, I need more carbs, I might eat some pop tarts at the end of the day because I need to fill in those carbs. I don't feel like eating rice anymore because I have ten cups of freaking rice. But um, yeah, that's how that's how I see nutrition uh, from my perspective. I, I don't want to be so restricted for just clean foods or I don't want to be that person that's like a pro junk food diet, you know. So to get to the middle, so my advice would be to track your macros, but don't eat so bad where you're only eating junk food and don't eat uh, so much like just only clean foods because, you know, you're going to develop a bad relationship with food and you don't want that. Food's the best thing. It fuels you. It makes you feel good. When you eat good food, you're going to feel good and then pass out and go to sleep. And um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope it didn't take too long. I know some of you guys probably didn't even make it all the way through this uh, whole video. But please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm uh, doing my best to come out with more and more, uh, more videos. I know I promised you guys that and I've been kind of uh, slacking on that. And I have no excuses besides I want to blame school. But I mean, as a college student, man, we got to do what we got to do. Alright, peace.